Hello, I'm Transformers Fan G138, and I'm here with a video review of Dream Makers Warriors from Cyborg Tron Add on Upgrade Kit for Fall of Cybertron, or sorry, wow, War for Cybertron, War for Cybertron, um, Megatron. And first off, I'd like to start by saying. Um, War for Cybertron Megatron is so far the best Megatron toy I think I've ever owned. Some people disagree with me, but of course everybody disagrees with everybody. That's kind of what makes us humans. So, this is honestly, I think, the best Megatron toy already. There are some issues I have, like the hands, and this set corrects them. Um, there's a few things on the set I just don't care for. And I'll explain that. So, basically in the set, you get this um, mace spear type thing. This thing is pretty cool. Um, although, something to watch out for, it's every purple piece on here is a different piece. And these like to fall off quite easily. I'm not really sure if it's for a future project or what. Um, did notice, though. You can actually use this handle for Optimus Prime's axe if you want to um, have him use a longer handle. Um, but I'll get into why I wouldn't on the Optimus Prime review I do next week. So um, this this is cool. Um, you also have this connector for that, which I'll get into. You also get like some sort of weird Megatron version of the Matrix or Energon Chamber or Spark Chamber or something. Uh, it's interesting. This actual purple sphere in the center is translucent with some painted uh, red on it. It's pretty cool. Um, if you just poke the back of it, this thing actually falls out and it's a pain in the butt to get it lined up. But um, it's a complete sphere. It's molded all the way around. It's kind of cool. Um, so. Can't quite get around my camera. Couldn't find my smaller tripod, so I had to use my full-sized one. So, this actually can be installed in Megatron by pulling down that, folding down the back, and putting this in here like so. And if you push it all the way back, then this can go up with no problems. I don't, because... Uh, it tilts his head further back than I like, um, just for aesthetic purposes, and realistically, it's cool, but I, I don't need it in mine. I guess it helps from your head bending down like this, if you're having an issue every time you touch it. And, of course, he's not back heavy at all, but whatever. Speaking to back heavy... Um, he does gain a backpack for his weapons. This is the part of the set that I really don't like or care for, to be honest. Um, yeah. So, this is what you would use the connect for. You spin him around to his back. Take the uh, thing here for vehicle mode for his cannon. Pop this on. Pop this on. Uh, this can go multiple ways. It can go here, 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 pretty much any of those spots. Um, if I was to display it, I would display it like this. Mm, I don't like how his back kind of hangs down back here. I guess you could take it off, and it wouldn't really affect it all that much um, by just removing that pin. But, you know, it's fine. You can hold his spear back here. You can hold his... Um, arms hold uh, his new axe back here um, you can hold his cannon back here you know, there's stuff like that you know hold that there um, this is the weakest part of the set in my opinion I don't like it yeah it can he can hold all his weapons but he can also hold all his weapons fully in robot mode too. Um, also, that's for vehicle mode. I'm not going to go do the vehicle mode thing because, honestly, I'm never going to display him in vehicle mode. And it doesn't really do much for me anyway. Um, so, a little bit of an issue I had with the set to begin with. Um, I'll, I'll, you know what, I'm just going to put the hands on first. Basically, these 
can be a little tricky to get on, but for the most part, they're pretty simple. Um, yeah, just fold in the existing hands. Um, yeah, I think Hasbro still could have made them so you could hold those. But literally, you start by putting it in the uh, slot here and just popping it on. Same to the other side. Hands in. Put the arms on. I basically got this set simply so Megatron could have some poseable hands and actually hold things. And honestly, that's what I use this set for. Hands and weapons. Because it's pretty cool. Now, the issue I had with this set is this gun did not fit on this peg. Or actually this peg, to be honest. But So I took a little fingernail file and filed it down a little bit, which is why it has a white ring around it. Um, and loosened up the screw right here and it pops in no problem. Now, I'm pretty sure a uh, different review I actually watched this, there's like an instruction manual with it. There's no instruction manual here. There's no pictures, nothing. It's, uh, that's the Optimus one. In either set, there's no instructions, nothing. Um, just these. Um, I am assuming this is for the US edition, the um, European edition, Japan, and I have no idea what T represents. I don't even know if that's right. That's just my guess. Um, so that's interesting. Um, so now in this mode, now that I got this attached, it's pretty cool looking. I mean, his arms are slightly like a half of, like a millimeter longer than before. They're just fatter and they look make him look more gorilla. I just tend to have him out more to the side like that and he looks fine. And, um, yeah, you want to be careful when moving his arms if you're using this for any sort of thing other than just display, which you shouldn't be, but... Anyway, cool thing is his index finger is actually separate from the rest of his finger, so you can actually have him, like, point, like, Starscream, you have failed me for the last time. Yeah, that'd be kind of cool. So, um, if I didn't already kill Starscream. But, point being... Yeah, you, you got some cool hand poses you can do. As well as he can now hold 5mm weapons. Or 3mm weapons. Or whatever it is. I think it's 5. Um, so, this literally... I'm just going to leave the cannon off for now. Just sets in his hand. And you friction hold it. Closed. And... This hand doesn't like holding things very well. This one, on the other hand, does a fantastic job. So, yeah, that's cool. Um, there's actually, uh, the, pe the pin isn't all the way through the hand, and if I just, like, you know, press that in and clip it in the hand, it'll hold that no problem. Uh, the axe, I don't really like having in his hand. It just doesn't do it for me. However, it's got this little nice hole here, which fits perfectly here. So he's got this really, really cool energy weapon on his arm now. Whooshing, whooshing. I love that. I don't know what, why, but something about that just screams Megatron. I don't get it, but it is cool. For me, at least. And then, you know, throw his main cannon on over here, his fusion cannon. And you have yourself a merry Megatron. A menacing Mary Megatron. We'll go with that. Sounds cool. Sounds weird. That's why I like it. So, in the essence, these three parts become useless for me. Um, cool that they include them. Um, not really big. I like my Megatron like this with the hands and the weapons. That's me. Um, totally recommend this set. Um, it's actually a reasonable price at... $30, um, considering Dr. Wu, or if I'm even pronouncing that right, uh, is selling their Star Saber hunks of little plastic chromed for $15, I would say this definitely surpasses it. So um, that's that. I'll be doing the Optimus Prime review next week. 
or at least that's the plan. Um, I don't have the screwdriver to install the chest plate with me, so it's kind of hard to do a review until I do that. Um, yeah, it's cool. It's going to be cool having an Optimus Prime with an opening chest. If you have any questions about this figure or the add-on set and the figure interactions, any of the mods I did or didn't do, um, if you, I mean, I've seen other people have different issues with the set. Not there's nothing that a little bit of tweaking won't fix, like a little um, fingernail file, which is all I used on the cannon, and a little screwdriver to loosen that up. Um, and it, if it's on there, fine. Doesn't stress the plastic. Um, you know, if you're ever going to use it on the normal Megatron again, I would just tighten up the screw a little bit so it pops on and off like it used to. But that's that. Really, really dig this like the uh, mace just love the figure to begin with this is a really really cool thing this is what i use as my classics megatron on my shelf so this really makes the deal for me he looks phenomenal and uh that pretty much concludes my video review again if you have any questions about the set or any of the modifications or any quality control issues Please leave a comment down below and I'll get back to you. If you have any requests for video reviews, post a comment down below or send me a message. And I'll do those up for you. Hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching.